Well, I found um, a little Galway hooker which had been abandoned in a boatyard, um, which was just getting ready to disintegrate and rot away to nothingness. So I bought a wreck and rebuilt it and put it all back together sailing as a traditional boat. I mean, that would have originally been built in 1912 and used as a, as a fishing boat up in Galway. Um, well, I brought my boat back up to Galway. Uh, it was a bit of a culture shock. They, um, they don't have a book of racing rules. They just use little fishing markers and lobster pots out in the harbour. And when they set a course, you go up to the first red fishing mark and turn around it with the sun. <laughs> There's no such thing as port and starboard like you have in the modern racing rules. On that day, they, it was a harbour that I wasn't familiar with, so they put two mooring boys up on top of the rocks and said, just stay away from those two or you'll be hitting the rocks. Um, it was basically a case of go up until you get to the red mark underneath Jimmy O'Brien's house and turn around it against the sun and come back down the other way and go around the next boy with the sun. So it's a completely relaxed and laid back attitude to, to racing. Only from being out there with Dad, you know, when, the, when the, you can hear the waves, like when you turn off the engine and then the boat just kind of goes itself and then you can hear the, the waves off the end of the, what's it called? I don't even know what you call it. Underneath the boat, like you can just hear it like, Mm, and you're, you're, oh, it's cool! Like you just get a little oh, love being out on the water. That's all I know about. <laughs>